Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. It was on account of food a man gave away his destiny. He says, I prefer to eat than to have my destiny. What is it in my destiny? Let me exchange that destiny for food. Called Esau in the Bible. He was not clothes. He said, I am so hungry to hell with my destiny. Bring me that pottage of red steel. And his destiny went away many people laugh at esau but that's what we do all our lives we allow food to take away the place of an encounter that can change your life forever there is no one on earth i know no one who truly works in authentic power with god who does not fast not just as a ritual what food is to your sustenance is what fasting is to your spiritual growth nobody outgrows food nobody you can't say i've been eating for 40 years are we together now so i need us to be at the same pace so that we don't think it's just a starvation remember in the book of acts 23 don't turn there there were certain people who went to consult diviners on what to do with Paul and the Bible says they bound themselves with a curse and they said we will neither eat nor drink until Paul dies fasting so that an anointed man of God can die are we together now so we need to understand that this that God is doing is to empower us so that we can rise in life it's a sacrifice that God has designed for our lifting. Even Jesus himself fasted and Jesus was teaching and said, when you fast, not if you fast. And when God declares a corporate fast, there are individual fasts, but there is a corporate fast. That is a commanded fast. Is this not the kind of fast I have commanded? You can do the one you want to do, but when God commands it, it's because there is something that he has in mind hallelujah god bless you please be seated for a while just pray one prayer lord jesus open my eyes open my eyes to the understanding of your word open my eyes please pray make sure you are praying open my eyes open my eyes oh oh chapter 19 tonight i'm sharing on the power of knowledge the power of knowledge luke chapter 19 in the new testament jesus cried twice the first reason why he cried listen carefully the first reason why jesus cried was when he was weeping at lazarus's grave and the bible records that oh how he loved him so love was one of the first reasons why jesus cried the second reason why he cried is found in Luke chapter 19 from verse 41. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Luke chapter 19 verse 41. 
and when he was come near he beheld the city listen carefully and wept over it saying if thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto thy peace he says but they are hidden from thy eyes jesus stood over a city and was weeping he was watching the way the people were guessing their lives and jesus your jesus started crying and his reason for crying is that if you had known the things that are responsible for your peace responsible for your peace not just the, uh, the quietness responsible for your results jesus stood and was crying and his his purpose of crying was the ignorance of the people in that city and the inevitable fact that they would continue to be victims of that ignorance he says you do not know the things that belong for your peace he says but now they are hidden from your eyes meaning that although you are looking you cannot see them this kingdom we have been drumming it from day one of this fast that this kingdom is a kingdom of information it's a kingdom of light dominion in this kingdom is a product of knowledge not desire knowledge not intention knowledge hallelujah dominion in this kingdom is not just based on knowledge but based on sufficient knowledge having knowledge is not enough when a student goes to write exams the student is not writing another subject if he gets seven over hundred is that true he failed 93 percent and passed seven percent but the seven percent is not enough to pass the student so having knowledge is not enough there is a level of knowledge it takes for dominion to be true if the light goes off right now and you light a matchbox it is light but it is not sufficient enough to turn the night in this auditorium today so saying you have knowledge is not enough the knowledge must be sufficient to a degree that can bring you the results you desire the problem for many of us is not necessarily ignorance it is insufficient knowledge is god speaking to us mm. we need deep enough knowledge not just knowledge deep enough knowledge about finances deep enough knowledge about divine health deep enough knowledge about the anointing deep enough knowledge about church growth deep enough knowledge about increase having knowledge is not enough it is true that we know some things but the challenge is those things may not hold all the keys that are required to command the results that we desire let me show you a verse that i found very very interesting first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 this blessed me in no small way first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 he says and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to that means the proof that you are knowledgeable is that there is a desire in you for more that the moment there is a point in your life where you believe that you know enough the apostle is speaking that is by the spirit that a sense of arrival and complacency is a symptom of insufficient knowledge Sinat sang that the more I know you the more I want to know you so when you encounter God when you encounter the spirit of knowledge and revelation the sign is that although you are working in great results there remain a hunger in you for more I am passionate about knowing the areas of ignorance in my life because there is so much I do not know are we together 
everything we desire in the kingdom is available the grace of God has made it available but it takes knowledge not just faith faith must be upon an, a person and an information that is correct you can have faith in error you can have faith in an information that is not correct so it's not just having faith the object of your faith must be authentic you need a high level of insight and light a high level of insight a high level of light are we together scattered in this auditorium and all around and all those following us from the nations of the world the reason listen carefully the reason why we have requests why we have desires is because there are expectations before us that are not yet our testimonies there are expectations before us there are things we desire some of you are here tonight trusting god for superior dimensions of the anointing some of you here are pastors you are struggling with membership up today down tomorrow and it's not that you are not anointed but not to the degree to get the result you desire there are people who are trusting god for certain levels of graces but you see the thing is not just to say i have knowledge is it to the degree that can give you the result i always liken knowledge i also liken the anointing to money if i want to take this this bottle of water and it is 100 naira if i have 70 naira i have money but not the value enough to purchase this this is what i am looking for so i must upgrade that value to the level that it can deliver this result are we together knowledge hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the prophet of god was speaking by the spirit and he said my people he never said the hidden my people my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge satan manipulated their understanding to make them see life from a perspective and the result of that aberration is the pain and the discomfort that they have knowledge the bible says through knowledge shall the just be delivered there is a relationship between knowledge and deliverance not just prayer i told you that not all spirits go by prayer the bible never said so this kind there is a kind that goes by prayer there is a kind that goes by prayer and fasting there is a kind that goes by knowledge the devourer does not go by fasting the devourer does not go by knowledge the devourer goes by obedience to a obedience to a correct information are we together i believe in fasting i believe in prayer that's what we are doing now but i'll be lying to you many believers keep mocking themselves thinking just because you are praying and dissipating energy it will cover for every spiritual predicament no sir at best god will take advantage of your alignment in prayer to lead you back to an information that is able to help you in this kingdom we reign on the strength of the light that we have john chapter 1 and verse 5 says the light shineth in darkness the light shineth in darkness the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not for as long as it is night time in your life weeping continues the bible says weeping endureth for the night you don't stop crying just because you are tired of crying you stop crying because light enough to turn your night to day we are calling this place night now simply because something has happened to the sun it's in as much as we know and we are not able to receive that illumination sufficient enough to turn the night to day but a few hours now into the morning everything is going to change we rise in this kingdom by light not desire i desire prosperity is not enough to give you i desire to walk in divine hell i desire for that hepatitis to go i desire for that cancer to go i desire for that hiv that fibro to leave my body i desire for that barren womb to take in it takes knowledge it takes knowledge not just desire hallelujah you hear the testimonies of the people who god is granting them grace don't you think god just chose to bless them now it is now the knowledge has come to them 
and so it makes it look like this is the season God has wanted to bless you he's always wanted to do it but you only arise and shine when your light comes not when it's available it has always been available but the day it comes to you every lady's womb in this auditorium can take seed but it doesn't make you pregnant automatically the day a real seed enters that womb then the process of conception starts are we together but as you are now seated that womb can produce so it's not enough to just say i have potentials i know what can happen no if god wants to change your life he grants you knowledge every religion that oppresses men in the world thrives through mysticism and ignorance the strength of victimization and oppression is withholding classified information from people the difference between the intelligence unit of the american nation and other nations of the world is their access to classified information there is a kind of information that is not given to the third world nations to know it is only supplied to them if they go and plead with the intelligence unit and then they give them terms is that true as terrible as terrorism is on earth right from space there is a system of watching on earth real time but that information will not be given to you is the privilege of the holders of that information that's why they are called world powers they are not called world powers because they are bigger they are called world powers because they have access to classified information so we reign in this kingdom not just because of how macho we are not just because of how fluent we are but the access to the information the bible says jesus himself knew what to do that's dominion to know what to do good master what must i do to be saved in other words i want to be saved but it's not yet my experience and i know that the bridge between me and that result is knowledge good master what must i do not just that i desire to be saved good master what must i do to be blessed financially what must i do to be lifted what must i do to rise to a realm where my body no longer hosts sickness i shared with us a revelation i don't know which of the days that the bible says when a spirit leaves a man remember a spirit does not leave a man on his own it is casted is that true out of that person in my name he shall cast out devils they don't want to go but an anointing compels them to leave and then the bible says they go through desert regions listen carefully and something about the desert does something to that spirit and without any prayer warrior praying the spirit leaves the desert and prefers to come back to the man hmm. the desert that something can happen in a desert no prayer meeting going on no fasting going on a spirit can be so uncomfortable in the desert and it will rather return back to the man that means there is something the body of man can become that can make spirits even without any man praying they will leave and that mystery you see in the desert is what the bible calls the mystery of fire this fire you see is a mystery there is something about the heat of the desert physically that does something to spirits and they prefer that's why when jesus casted them they entered the swine straight into the water straight into the water and the people drove me said leave this place when a spirit leaves a man there is something about the habitation of a mortal man that is conducive for a spirit and the moment it leaves it it goes through desert regions and something happens not compatible to their design and he says i have to leave this area of hostility so the bible says he maketh his angels winds and his ministers flames of fire that when a man becomes a flame of fire no spirit no charm no no cause by themselves you will have a dream and watch certain things leave you the first thing that happened to samson they bound his hand 
and the bible says when the hand of the lord came upon him suddenly heat from nowhere turned that thing the bible says it was like flax and all of a sudden he let it go are we together we must be deeply passionate about spiritual knowledge not useless knowledge there are all kinds of knowledge on earth occultism can give you knowledge about the spirit realm that's why jesus said i am the door the authorized system for routing this knowledge you can read all kinds of books online and that's why we have to be careful especially for we young people because in our appetite to chase knowledge we have found ourselves dappling into occultic there are books that moses wrote but those books are occultic books your real moses he wrote those books before he encountered god he wrote them as a very good student who was trained in egypt today they use those books for occultism he teaches you geometry how to align yourself to certain angles on the earth that will make you be in touch with the constellations moses taught it so when we talk of knowledge we are not just talking of a random pursuit of anything that is spiritual in this day and age where we measure respect for ministry by how much what we supposedly call debt we must be careful the proof of knowledge is the deliverance that it brings that's why many people keep growing supposedly in revelation and with all that rema the devil oppresses you as if that he's telling you i'm not aware whatever it is you are celebrating i'm not aware through knowledge liberates we pride ourselves with useless knowledge that is incapable of standing the test of time and bringing the victory that we desire stood over the city and wept and said you do not know the things that belong for your peace hallelujah let me show you something psalms 45 and verse 4 psalm 45 thank you jesus It says, and in thy majesty, write prosperously. Because of what? Truth. Not just meekness. Not just all of these things. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Write prosperously, not because of desire. Because of truth. It says, and ye shall know the truth. And if it is really the truth, you can know what you think is the truth. You can know what a pastor tells you is the truth. You can know what a denomination tells you is the truth. But if it is really the truth, the Bible says it makes men free. There are supposed truths in the body of Christ that don't make men free. Ever learning, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Acquiring things that puff us up. Knowledge that puffs up. Doesn't heal doesn't deliver doesn't bless doesn't make people closer to god there is power in knowledge there is power in knowledge there is power when knowledge is applied we reign in this kingdom by the mysteries that we know but the manifestation the potency of those truths are brought to the scene when we act the first thing to do is to get knowledge not to act the first thing to do is to build conviction through the requisite knowledge that will bring you the result this bible you see is a compendium of all kinds of knowledge that scatter across different subject matters so the assignment of the believer is to walk as though you are walking through a garden and find the details that are responsible in this book is the knowledge that will take anybody from a failure to a success it's true in this book your assignment is to walk with the spirit of god are we together to be able to piece together all the required information not some not as much as you want all the required information in this word 
there is a system where men can walk in divine health it is true it is true now if your experience has not captured that reality it does not mean the word of god lied it is that you have not been able to construct in your spirit and your mind all the keys that are required to produce that outcome you can give me the ingredients to make fried rice and miss one important ingredient and what i will produce will not be called fried rice yes rice but not fried rice the difference between jollof rice and fried rice is combination rice is there in all of them are we together now yes there's a lot of ignorance in the body of christ there is a lot of cramming scripture there is a lot of quoting scripture there is a lot of devotionals there are a lot of translations of the bible there are so many books but there is very little knowledge that is required because if that knowledge translates to wisdom it will be justified by the children that it will produce hallelujah i don't want the kind of knowledge that puffs me up into pride you know knowledge can do something to you if you are not careful it can bring you to a sense of pride open to john chapter 4 verse you just ah he's going to verse 17 but the person who is talking there is not spiritual he's not god fearing he's under oppression he's sick as he's talking there and broke on top yet the person is telling you i know you are going to verse 17 that's ex the exact kind of knowledge satan needs so he he deceives you into being convinced that you are also a colleague in the realm of results whereas your life is not producing anything i know everything about getting people filled with the holy ghost i can go to acts chapter one yes i know isaiah 28 i know joel chapter two here is a gentleman in need of the baptism and you stand and struggle around there and create all kinds of flimsy excuses i know what the bible says concerning prosperity oh malachi chapter 3 bring ye all the tithes oh you know luke chapter 6 i know for my sake he became poor show me the result show me in your mind and show me in your life how god anointed jesus is it that one i know it i i can even tell you the amplified version and we think that just because we gather those things we have knowledge no sir no sir we must be passionate about knowledge just because they made you a bible study leader in your church does not mean you are knowledgeable you are just the one who is representing the church and that's wonderful continue doing what you are doing but if it is results you are looking for you have to go back it's not a bible study manual that makes you knowledgeable demons don't have respect for those things i'm not against them but i'm saying much more than those things you have to go and sit down martha was running up and down he said martha martha you were worried and 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 um offended about many things he said one thing is needful to sit down at the master's feet lord what is this secret to favor what is it not i know there is favor most of the results we want we believe it exists but how to make it our experience is where the challenge is and that's one of the benefits of fasting ultimately your faith rises but the bible says the kind of fast i have commanded your light will break forth there is something about the supremacy that your spirit man will gain over your flesh because your flesh has been starved of food and the strength of the flesh is the availability of food when the flesh is energetic it runs around and plays games but when there is the absence of food it has a way of forcing suppression to your flesh and then your spirit man can hear and understand then shall your light break forth shall your light break forth and your health speedily your health physical health hallelujah only if that our loved ones knew certain truths look at me look at all of us now in this place brothers and sisters look at the knowledge that god has granted us access to imagine what have you had certain revelations and immediately you almost start crying because you wish somebody you love so much think how many times you watch sincere people 
sincere Christians become victims of the oppression of darkness through knowledge shall the just be delivered it takes knowledge to prosper it doesn't just take God to prosper it takes knowledge it takes knowledge to walk in the anointing there must be a desperate desire in your heart and my heart to pant after knowledge to pant after truth he said i'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house i know that that place is bethel the place of bread where there is knowledge i'd rather be than to go around celebrating please hear me those who are standing by the roadside and inside all the overflows right where you are standing the difference between you and any man you admire whether in business in ministry in in in, in finances family life whatever it is is knowledge when a man fights with his wife and beats his wife it's not just the presence of demons the demons don't just act anyhow the demons take advantage of the ignorance are we together demons don't just act they don't just veto your will and act they take advantage of the gap in knowledge or the incompleteness of your knowledge and then they take advantage of it it is more dangerous to have incomplete knowledge it's better to have complete ignorance because the days of our ignorance god overlooks god can overlook certain things like you see a little child doing certain things and you are aware that that child does not have an ability to have that knowledge at that level and so you forbear if a small child comes and is rolling here now and playing around we may just guide the child in love but not to flog the child because at that level we expect that to happen but if as an adult you come and you are doing it we will first find out whether it's the holy ghost making you do it and if we find out it's not the one we will send you away and we say no 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 you don't do this there is order in the house of god are we together mm. if you say you have been born again that you are in christ you have access to the spirit of god then certain things should be seen in your life that validates the fact that you are walking with the word that validates the fact that you are not just reading your bible in the morning just as a ritual to say be a witness you see me doing my devotion today that's not knowledge it can be religion in fact most times it is religion open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things open down my eyes open down my eyes he said call on to me and i will answer and i will show you not tell you show you great and mighty things that you do not know great and mighty things great and mighty dimensions of the anointing that you do not know great and mighty dimensions of influence that you do not know let me tell you this anybody in your life you see with sustainable results in any area do not make a mistake of thinking it is luck are we together now there is no luck in this equation when you see a mother train 11 children and for 30 years those children have remained in a way and manner that even shocks you don't just say Kai, madam you are lucky or what kind of anointing is on you no it's not just the anointing god can give you the same anointing on that woman and you won't be able to train one child with it that anointing functions well through knowledge knowledge gives the anointing efficiency knowledge gives the anointing efficiency the anointing does not just work anyhow knowledge gives the anointing efficiency otherwise there would not be need for the renewal of the mind knowledge gives the anointing efficiency you are still anointed but he said let this mind be in you which was in christ jesus hallelujah have you seen a man maybe an old elderly man that didn't have the privilege to go to school didn't have the privilege to learn english but a greatly anointed man you can see that that man utilized less than on a scale of one to ten 
less than four of that anointing take that same anointing don't change it the same anointing put it on another young man who is more knowledgeable and more vast in scripture that's when you will see the true potential of what that anointing could do that means that old man's lack of knowledge limited the operation of the anointing that's what happened to some of our parents the old people who were prophets they loved god they had dangerous prophetic graces but there was no accurate understanding of the word so the dispensing of their prophetic looks so limited but then you take the same prophetic anointing and you put on someone who is mighty in scripture and you see the kind of miracles and deliverances that will come for people knowledge is important in this kingdom you pay for your ignorance it will not be paid for you will pay for it in this kingdom you will pay for your ignorance you will pay for it in sickness you will pay for it in untimely death you will pay for it in lack of joy you will pay for it in sorrow you will pay for it in all kinds of diseases darkness continues to multiply but it takes those who have light light sufficient to keep the kind of results they desire is god speaking to us we are going to pray but the cry is for knowledge for knowledge for knowledge for knowledge lord give me knowledge why is our family like this we are 20 in the entire family but nobody rises you know i watch how i talk to people many times sometimes here on the queue and then around as i travel and they meet me and communicate certain challenges and in all honesty and with all humility i know what they are doing wrong that is responsible for that and i know what they need to do to get the result and then they say apostle pray for me i know just a touch from you as soon as you touch me everything will go and it is true that they can get some measure of results but ultimately they need to sit down and that spiritual laziness they just say that's why we love the prophetic so much not necessarily because we appreciate it that it's from god it looks like an easy remedy and an alternative to sitting down and knowing god so we love it just tell me this business trip will i make it or not i don't want to hear any story though i don't need to learn how to talk to the people it's not, i just tell me Just tell me, this lady I'm going to marry, is my morning clear? Is my afternoon clear? Is my evening clear? Or whatever it is. But sir, there are principles to work with women. I don't care. Just tell me. God should be able to know. Our refusal to get knowledge has equated to the strength of Satan in our lives. He looks mighty because our ignorance gave him the ladder to climb that high. Are you hearing what I'm saying? let me say it again that satan looks mighty in our lives because our ignorance provided the ladder for him to climb and look so mighty but when you get knowledge brothers and sisters in my little life i've seen the power of knowledge when knowledge is correct and it is applied to the letter that's when you will see how cheap satan is savior he can move a mountain my god is mighty to say he is mighty to say forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave savior My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Once upon a time, I'm looking for him. Where is he, Doctor? Come. I thought he was there. Do you know once upon a time this gentleman was a naive young gentleman with a desire to become the future of himself is that true he saw an expectation but he was a naive gentleman 
and all that happened to him in the medical school they didn't change his clot they didn't change his name they only kept supplying knowledge when the knowledge was enough they took him higher enough they took him higher enough they took him higher one day someone who was a master in that field looked at him and said based on the knowledge you have you deserve a certification to go and practice as a doctor the difference as anointed as i am the difference between me and this guy if someone is convulsing i will pray for him because i don't know what else to do is that true all i know in my world is that all wickedness and evil is from satan and so that's exactly what i'll do because that's my knowledge and i will watch somebody who is sick having typhoid fever and i'm shaking around and here comes he already knows that this one if it can be attended to it does not kill so while the mother he say hey help my son the doctor is all right knowledge gives you stability stability fear is a revelation that there is a gap in knowledge panicking over everything you just hear something on your zing hey they are here again just like they said because there's something you do not know are we together now yes you can see him stand and while he's performing whatever he's doing his whole medical activity someone else is there watching and and panicking and he says don't worry and two days he just prescribes a drug oh are you doing this are you coughing are you vomiting oh i see and the person says, help me oh and the person goes to bed and wakes up the next day as if it's a lie and says doctor i'm fine knowledge knowledge is that true that means there is something you can know that will make you go to bed and wake up the next day in shock and surprise there's something you can know about favor the the i believe that all of these miracle alerts and all of this they are they are a statement i told you that a sign is a miracle with a message in it god is saying this is how easy i can change your life if you believe me you see the people coming to testify they are even shy they are surprised themselves because it's no respecter of persons are we together tonight we are going to pray and i'm going to pray for the sick very fast very fast we can't continue like this tomorrow we may not it's a miracle service but i don't know if we'll have time to pray for the sick because tomorrow god is going to tear the heavens over this place Aye. hallelujah the anointing oil is already i mean they carried it out. when i saw the jar coming i said please come <laughs> oh come oh come together we we'll, we will cry and speak every kind of mystery in it. <laughs> ah, when the woman was saying there is nothing in my house the anointing was hearing the conversation and said so you are ignoring me you gathered me among non-living things and said you don't have anything he said change the vessel and see what i can do the anointing was hearing the conversation are you not told that you have an anointing that can teach in english when things move Huh? when things move uh, living things biology everything you said you, you personify things by giving them life and attributes of humans the oil is a dead thing it is the anointing that makes the oil alive the anointing makes anything alive including a rod that was dead are we together so tonight we are going to pray listen to me let me just give you one truth sit down please just one Can I talk about sickness for just five minutes? Look at me. What is it with Satan and sickness and diseases? Please listen. I know that there may be a number of people sick now trusting God for healing. What if I go to the hospital right now? Don't feel bad not talking against you. That's why the power of God is here. If they look at me now and doctor diagnoses me and say, young man, I just found out that there is a heart palpitation or there is a hole in your heart. Or there is a tumor in your brain correct or there is a fibroid somewhere some kind of malignant growth blocking your tubes or whatever what exactly is satan achieving with this what is it with satan and the bodies of men 
what is he looking for i will tell you if you don't know this you will not see the need for the healing ministry the healing ministry is not just a validation that a man is anointed there are many other ways to validate that a man is anointed jesus was very ruthless about healing the healing ministry is not just some showmanship of testimony to show that a man is a good evangelist or apostle or prophet or whatever no you see remember our our teaching on the the serpent the seed right the serpent and the woman that satan knows that there is a law right it's called the law of territory that you can only be allowed to stay in a territory if you have the requisite demands of that territory i give you an instance if i throw you inside water now you may be able to swim but not forever because that is not your habitation of existence so your design was not made that way but if i throw a fish a fish can stay there forever a man can fly in the air but not indefinite he has to come down even if the plane does not spoil something will happen to his health that pressure gradient will affect him eventually are we together now so we now see that on earth as a human being god's system for functioning on earth is that your spirit must have a body that was built before it becomes legal are we together so if there is no body your spirit is an illegal occupant it may not be illegal in the realm of the spirit and in other dimensions of the heavens but on the earth your body your spirit must be hosted in a material body god himself respected this law when he was about to come to the earth a body has thou prepared for me not a spirit the spirit is still the real me but a body had to be prepared are we together now and so christ could come into that body mary's womb did not produce the word of god mary's womb produced a coat a physical body children are heritage from the lord but they need a body is that true they need a body so here's what satan knows that for as long as there are many bodies it means that there are many spirits that can be hosted in those bodies that have wills and can choose to serve god and can choose to advance the kingdom are you seeing the conspiracy of darkness in trying to create the system of clothing and the rest as wonderful as they are eventually they are antichrist systems in an attempt to to clone different bodies so that these demons remember the demons we have been talking about i hope you know those demons are still looking for bodies till today so they are coming up with a system to make robots and educate the robots to be so intelligent but without spirit so that a demon spirit can come into it there are films like that you watch them where scientists try to make all kinds of robots then they invoke through a central machine a spirit is not acting that's satan's agenda but meanwhile there is a level of health that your body must assume for your spirit to safely stay there you know your body is a house god said it is a temple demon said it is a house so we know that both god and satan agree that this body is a house are we together now and so satan tries to inflict all kinds of damages there is a damage that can happen to my body it will break the body so much the spirit will be will have to leave we call that death a separation are we together every sickness is the first step towards death every if i am sick i am closer to death being sick than i am alive so the ultimate goal of sickness is not to bring you down so you will be fine tomorrow the ultimate goal of sickness is to start initiating the process of death in your life in hope that it will continue that's why doctors are a real blessing those who work in the anointing hate doctors we love doctors here we have a lot of them because we realize that it would take more than a man of god this damage that has been done by hell will require people who keep standing because even the doctors themselves believe in miracles they don't talk to the drugs they just administer it the drug itself the system of its operation is a mystery that only god can tell so medicine itself is a miracle 
if you go to the hospital you attended a miracle service because something in that hospital is beyond the knowledge of the doctor are we together so satan wants to afflict me imagine that i came up now and i'm coughing i'm coughing blood think of what it would do to your faith one two think of what it would do to the to kingdom advance are we together think of what it would do so satan wants it it's a statement god you are not you are not all that you say and i'm using your highest creation to mock you the healing ministry proves the lordship of jesus in a very significant way the healing ministry does not just prove the strength of the man of god it's a testament of the dominion power of god doctors understand this the next time you are injecting somebody don't just say are you recovering expect something to flow through your contact with that syringe into the person that accelerates the process so tonight hear me if there is any sickness in your body it's a sign that satan desires to kill you it's not a sign that what he, he desires is proof it is the first stage to begin to deteriorate you there are people who are sick but you go to the hospital and they tell you there is nothing wrong that's satan for you a few days ago a lady brought me brought me um a photo of someone i think she's here just a little boil a jimmy little boil on the leg and within months this had rotten if she, if they turn the other leg you see the bones physical bones the flesh had eaten is that a boil is that how you know that boils work another life attaching itself to your body behold i give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy he says and nothing shall by any means hurt you how god anointed jesus of nazareth chapter 10 verse 38 with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good healing all they that were sick oppressed sickness is an oppression if you are accommodated the devil will kill you with that sickness everywhere jesus saw sick people and they were serious enough about their healing think of what happened to the woman with the issue of blood imagine you were the one that married her and she was your wife 12 years of pain watching your wife every day and here comes jesus imagine the woman who had been bound for 18 years imagine what would happen to her family life the healing ministry is an end time ministry it's not for healing evangelists it's not for apostles it's part of the tools that make us demonstrators of the reality of the life and power of god the power of god must be demonstrated upon his highest creation not just plants and animals and tonight in the name of jesus christ i'm trusting the lord that there are people here who will wave goodbye do you know what god is going to do god is going to turn your own body into a volcano and no devil no spirit the same way they leave deserts in peace that's how they will have to walk out of your body in peace hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah Hallelujah, you have won it all for me. That could not hold you down. You are the reason, King. Seated in majesty. an exposition of your area of ignorance lord reveal to me what do i need to know 
what do I need to know to take me to the next dimension in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere lift your voice and begin to pray expose my area of ignorance expose my area of ignorance expose my area of ignorance expose expose my area of ignorance financial ignorance Hallelujah. I like you to prophesy to yourself and say every area of my life where Satan has taken advantage of me by the power of knowledge I declare that your victory in that area is broken lift your voice and pray every area may be your finances may be your spiritual life may be in the area of growth may be in ministry every area where Satan has taken Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time in the name of Jesus. Father. Open my eyes to the revelations required for the results I desire. Say it again, Father. Open my eyes to the revelation of the truths, the information that are required for the results that I desire. Open your mouth and pray. Every result has a demand. Every result has a light requirement. Every result I desire. There is something I must know. There is something I must do. Hallelujah. One of the benefits, listen to me, of the word of God is that it can be sent on errand. He said he sent forth his word like a messenger. And he says his word he led them. Listen carefully. He sent forth his word. He sent it. He didn't speak it. He didn't say he spoke forth. He sent forth his word i can be talking to you but i can say go and help me do something he sent forth his word 
and his word he let them and delivered them from all their destruction please let me tell you something we're just going to pray one prayer and i'm going to pray for the sick demons are responsible for infirmities don't confuse it are we together now there are families tied down with all kinds of plagues patterns father stroke mother stroke firstborn stroke first lady daughter stroke what kind of devil is that i'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and tell the lord what must live your life this night the anointing to make it go is available hallelujah you must believe this you are barren here tonight you must be ready to take in now you don't take in when you meet your husband meeting your husband gives the baby a body you take in when the word of god gets to you be it unto me joseph was not there let's let's agree with god for god's sake tonight and frustrate certain medical reports that only god only god can take away are we together now Lord, I'm ready to receive my healing. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Now listen. My God, there is such an anointing. I'm going to pray. Just just flow, guys. Not that sound. Please change all those things. Play the strings for me. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to pray. You have I'm going to minister the healing power of Jesus to you. We may take some instant testimonies here. There's no time to call people out. We do that during the miracle services because we want to be torn on everybody. But scattered across overflow, one, two, three, those online, wherever you are, the healing power of Jesus is able to touch you wherever you are. Are we together? Now I'm going to be praying for you. As I pray for you and the power of God touches you, there are some of you, you will be surprised at what will happen to you right now. While we finish praying, I'm going to give you an opportunity to check yourself. Now listen please, Osha's protocol, just coordinate so we don't have people roaming around. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, are we together? I want you to make your way to the front. Let there be people at, at different points, just stationed, and we'll have a way of receiving some of them here. Yeah, Jimmy, you help me. And then we'll see how we can take a few testimonies to disgrace the devil tonight. We may not be able to take all, but tonight we want to give room to the God that can step in and rubbish the works of Satan. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? This is very, very important. I want to pray for you now. Already people have been healed. Some of you, as you came, you found out. Don't be afraid. I'm going to pray for you. Bring the lady that the angel of the Lord is going to touch outside with a loud shout. Bring her. Alaba kusidi atakata. 
just let me do my thing now I'm ministering by the spirit of prophecy I'm going to pray for the sick please let me have that lady quickly I want to pray for her it's a sign that God is giving to pray for the sick we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it name of Jesus Christ you see God does these things you know that this is a ministry of signs and wonders and God does these things as a message praise the Lord the Lord is setting this lady's family free I see oppression I command that spirit it's time to go let her go in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and for you I take this that the devil has put in your stomach in the name of Jesus every planting that is not of the lord in the name of jesus it leaves now lay one hand where you are trusting god for healing quickly lay one hand where you are trusting god for healing if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest inside and outside please expect a miracle right now expect a miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my God in the name of Jesus Christ I take authority over the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus I command every devil of sickness every devil of sickness come out of their bodies now in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of infirmity I take authority over you right now. I take authority over you right now. Every spirit of infirmity within this vicinity, I take authority over you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity in their lives by covenant, in their lives by disobedience, in their lives by ignorance, I take authority over you right now. Right now I declare be healed in the name of Jesus. I send the healing power of Jesus like a drug into your body. I command cleansing right now in the name of Jesus. I command healing right now in the name of Jesus. I command healing in the name of Jesus. Something is happening to you. A chest condition is being healed right now. In the name of Jesus, several chest conditions. As a matter of fact, right now, something is leaving your chest. You will feel like fire just going like this and you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ I see an eye condition the Lord is healing an eye condition in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone with a tooth problem you have your molars like severe pain I don't know if it's like hole in the teeth right now that hole closes now in the name of Jesus I close that hole now in the name of Jesus Christ lower abdominal pain I'm seeing several ladies with lower abdominal pain. I'm seeing like fire leaving me to all of those ladies. In the name of Jesus, lower abdominal pain. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. I'm seeing a lady right from the last three, like three weeks, you have been bleeding severely. Whether you're on your menstrual cycle or not, severe bleeding. Right now, the power of God is coming upon you coming upon you now coming upon you now and is living completely in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you don't hear well with your right ear you don't hear well with your right ear all of a sudden it opens now in the name of Jesus Christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ pile there are at least three people I'm seen with pile I command in the name of Jesus that devil be healed be, be, let them go right now and pile be healed in Jesus name now there is a lady don't be embarrassed I'm seeing you are not a nursing mother yet there are discharges on your breast this is something that is, 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 a, is, is an embarrassing thing the devil has used to mock you the power of God is coming on that lady right now and there is complete healing complete healing I'm seeing someone with a growth in your neck just somewhere here after the prayer you will check it and you will not see that growth again it disappears and leaves in the name of Jesus Christ if there's anyone in this place on a crutch or on a wheelchair when I finish praying throw that crutch and stand up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare if there's anyone having any kind of walking aid the moment I finish praying throw it and stand up in the name of Jesus every pain on your limbs anyone with pain on your limbs I command healing right now peptic ulcer be healed right now peptic ulcer be healed right now all forms of hepatitis be healed right now be healed right now s s a s be healed right now be healed right now if there is anyone here with any growth in your body the devil has planted any lump on your breast your body or any part of your your system in the name of jesus i command that growth to disappear right now i command that growth to disappear right now in the name of jesus there's there's somebody you have i don't know what problem you have with your nose the lord is showing me this is something that has affected your ability to smell it has affected your ability to smell after the prayer you will be surprised everything just leaves right now in jesus name i'm seeing someone with a pain just right here at the arm in the name of jesus christ i command that pain to leave right now i command that pain to leave right now i command that pain to leave right now now don't be embarrassed i'm seeing someone there is like a severe boil around your private area and this boil has an unusual pain you have treated it again and again and again and it will not go in the name of Jesus I command healing for you right now I command healing for you right now I command healing for you right now someone had a dream and in the dream they used an object and they hit you with it physically when you got up this side madam you are the one I'm talking about you come let me talk to you because immediately I spoke, the Lord told me, this is a woman, come. Do I know you, madam? You had a dream. Is that true? And they hit you with something. Yes. At, at that time, I was pregnant. They hit me with something like spear. Like a spear. Yes, sir. And from that time, you've been having that pain yes, till now. Sir. Even the son I gave back to, he came out with that pain. He came out with that pain too. Yes. Madam, you came here for koinonia. This is where all things are possible. All, not some. All things are possible. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I bring an end to this oppression. In the name of Jesus, let that devil leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm still praying. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm seeing um, there is somebody just right here at, at, at this, this point of my leg. There is severe pain, like muscle pull. Sometimes it holds on you. And you cannot even move the Lord is setting you free right now there is somebody your eyes when you look physically it looks like they are putting a rod in front of you like a, a a little object coming out of you are looking but it's like your eyes one of it is beginning to close and it looks like there is a rod or something like that on your eyes this is what I'm seeing I command that eye to be open right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed overflow one be healed overflow two be healed overflow three be healed our family online be healed and in the main auditorium here be healed in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah
I want you to check yourself now in the next two minutes. Many of you will be surprised to see what has happened. The moment you see that the hand of God has touched you, make your way quickly and come and line up here. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Celebrate Jesus. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Keep coming. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. a big 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 clap hallelujah hold on please you should join the queue so that we can hurry up quickly your name your testimony just bring them here quickly so that okay go ahead um, my name is joy I'm can we have them up here is it possible will it take time okay quickly just a few minutes okay my name is joy i've been having this toothache for months and toothache it, yes sir. and then when you mentioned the toothache as in it gives me headache and then that moment I could not feel the headache. Completely. Completely. It's gone right now. Any pain around your tooth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. Praise God. My name is Joshua I've been healed. I've been healed. Yes, someone be confirming that maybe Benga or Alpha. For years tonight yes. I received my healing. And I stood here for my mom. She's having fibroid. I believe she's healed tonight. In the name, name of Jesus Jesus. Christ, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please, quickly. Oh, no. Walk. Any pain. Any pain. Give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. Could not work well. And the Lord is healing her. In the name of Jesus, perfection perfection of that that area in Jesus name quickly miracles miracles the Lord is doing great miracles that's a sign that everything that has not been corrected in your life tonight my God is correcting it in the name of Jesus hallelujah destiny changer you are the destiny changer will you come and change my destiny my destiny today over your life is broken forever in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you, yes please Apostle this is partial blindness healed by the hand of the Lord tonight, what happened to him? Uh, last year I had a problem with this uh, your serious eye. pain Okay. and then I went to the hospital eye center in Kaduna the doctor confirmed that I can no longer see with this eye oh you went to eye center in Kaduna yes. and the doctors confirmed that That's you will not right. be able to use the eye to see again. Yes. What happened tonight? While the prayer was going on. The eyes open. I, yes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Close the one you can see with. Close the one you could see with before. Follow me. Just follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Are you see? Just follow me. Be careful. 
Can you see me? Follow me. Look at completely blind. Could not see with this one. Follow me. If you can see me, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, sir, I prophesy to you that not this is a sign that every other thing that has been closed in your life, my God is opening it right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Go ahead, yes, please. Praise the Lord. For ever a month, I can't see with these eyes. You can't see very well yes, with these eyes. Yes, then the eyes will be closing and be growing small. My God. I went to Shika, they give me drugs, my HOD prays. Sometimes I cannot even open my eyes. Sometimes if I'm opening water, then when the apostle was like saying, the Lord is turning to somebody's right eye. And instantly if I close my eyes and see me, the ease just stop. I really want to bless Completely. the name of the Lord. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Call down from overflow three. Oh, the lady from overflow three. Your mother, did you call her? You call who? What happened? She's in my healing. Look at this. Where is she? Where's your mother? She's in Kano. She's in Kano. And then what happened? As in, she has pipe problem. We are going to see Oh, she has pipe. Yeah, we are going to see this hospital. They say there's, there's nothing wrong with her. She's completely wet. And she used, her blood, blood used to flow every day. Every my day. God, look at this. And you call her right now. She's really completely <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ, the God who can leave Zaria to Kano to kill a woman. May he go to everyone's family and bring supernatural healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, yes, please. Praise God. Sometimes last year, December, I slept one night and I woke up around past one and I was not able to sleep. Because I was having issues with my hair. My hair, was, my hair started paining me. Then I slept up the following morning. I woke up and my hair started falling off. I couldn't control it. I went to the saloon to, make, to retouch it and stretch to see. Even at that point, the hair all just went. I had to just cut my hair. And after cutting my hair, my mom prayed. Because I, could, I refused to tell her concerning the dream that I had. Because if I should tell her, she would start panicking. So... After that, I prayed and anointed my hair. And after since then, my hair has become stronger and normal. Can you imagine? This is the hair. The hair is falling off. Every devil, in the name of Jesus, the hair of a woman is her glory. I command restoration for your hair. In she Jesus. has had hair problem for some days now. Hair problem? Yes, Which sir. of the hair? My right ear. I've what? been having severe pain. and Severe pain? Yes, and yesterday it shot completely. It shot completely? Yes. And right now it's right open. Now it's open. Put your no hand. Pain Put your hand there. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! My name is Patricia Daladi. Apostle made mention of the, you have problem with your, one of the sense organs. I was the one, the nose. I couldn't smell. Yeah, you, you said could, could not smell. You couldn't smell. How long? For 13 years now. For how long? 13 years. 13 years. She couldn't this. smell. Look at this. And right now, there's perfume on my hands. Can you smell? Look at this. You can smell this now. Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. Hey. My trust is in you. and gentlemen this lady could not smell in the name of jesus christ i pray for you breathe in breathe in go ahead in the name of jesus i release the life and the power of god to your body it's over forever in jesus name yes please go ahead very unusual menstrual pain for 10 years for 10 years let me tell you this we have to pray for our sisters over this demonic thing because it's getting popular and many of our sisters are even believing that's how it will be it's a wicked spirit. Don't believe it. It is the devil of darkness. And in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that this has been your experience, I pray by the power of the God I serve that from tonight, that experience lives your life forever. 
when the pain comes, it will paralyze her legs. She won't be able to move. And she had she came here with that same pain. You came here with that same pain. Yes, sir. And right now, what happened to you? I'm okay. I can Completely yes, sir. free. Yes, sir. Free forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. She was bathing Christmas Day of 2015. Water entered her ear. And she has not been able to hear well since then. But as you prayed, her ear popped open. That's how you know it's the devil. Hear well. That's how you know it's the devil. That you are bathing and water enters your ear. And then that's the end of it. And I've been suffering from typhoid for the past eight years. I came here very weak, but now I'm... For the past what? Typhoid for eight years. She came very weak, but now you she's strong. You didn't go strong. to the hospital? I've been going. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. Kai, the devil. Name of Jesus Christ, let there be perfection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to your ears. Perfection in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, sir. Um, this woman had a dream in December, and then she saw uh, somebody in her dream, and they told her this is facial cancer. And she woke this is what up facial cancer, cancer of the face. Of the face. Is there something like that? Ah. And then she woke up and began to feel the symptoms. Oh, and the pains of the person she saw in the dream physically physically right now all the pain gone anyone that appeared to anyone in the dream and planted anything in your body tonight may it go back to that devil in the name of jesus may it go back to that devil in the name of jesus may it go back to that devil in the name of jesus go ahead Okay, lift your hands now. I'll pray for you. That's why I took out time to explain this to you. In the name of Jesus, I command the hand of God to come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every force of sickness in your body, every force of infirmity over your body, it lives now and forever in the name of Jesus. The strength to push through tonight and pray in the night until tomorrow in the afternoon when we will be breaking i release that strength to you right now in the name of jesus many of you will have dreams tonight and in those dreams you will see strange victories and you will get up in the morning with a physical manifestation of those victories in the name of jesus christ i release those dreams in the realm of the spirit i command that they are captured in your experience tonight in the name of jesus christ again i decree and declare a strange grace for favor that between tonight and tomorrow as you come let there be strange favor in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching